Hi everybody, I am Husky Light. I hope you're all really well. Right, we have got a big lunar eclipse that is falling on the 7th of August in the sign of Aquarius. So this is going to shake up your life. This is going to help you make some much needed changes within your life. In a moment, I will go through every sign and just give you an idea of how the energies are going to affect each sign. Certain signs will get off pretty scot-free, others it's going to be quite intense for you. So it's good to just have a look at each one. Um, but we also have another one. We have a lunar eclipse as well coming in, a solar eclipse, sorry, which falls in Leo on the 21st of this month. So there is a lot of stuff going on. Um, this is a big pivotal month for this year. It's going to bring about shifts. It's going to bring about changes. Um, not, in, not only in your mind, but in your body, in your soul, in your spirituality as well. This is all part of a big energy cycle um, that is unfolding, starting with this lunar eclipse on the 7th. We've been called on by the cosmos to make some real changes, to start to reinvent your life in big and small ways. As we know, this year, 2017, is a year one about making a new beginning, about changing things, about finishing off old things and going on new a new adventure for this year. So that's what it's all been about. There's no doubt that the consciousness of the planet is on the rise. We are into the age of Aquarius as we go through our awakening. We are all getting more and more awake. Our vibration is rising more and more on a daily basis. And a lot of things we are seeing through, a lot of truth is coming through. We're seeing the corruption in government, we're seeing it in politics. Um, it's all coming to the surface for a light to be shined on it, for it to be exposed and eventually, hopefully, dealt with. We will get to a point in our evolution when we move past all of this. Um, big corporations, organisations, they've all been getting away with lies and they're no longer being able to hide it. And a lot of us that are awake have been seeing this for a long time, but it's slowly on the rise as everything comes up. We just see it more and more every day. Watch out for a lot of things happening politically and globally with the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse as well. There is likely to be some, some pretty big things happening around those times. Um, we need to transform. We need to move through the light ourselves um, to transform and clear through our own internal things in order to shine a light on ourselves and get through this. And this is what we're doing. Lunar eclipses are all about letting go, releasing things. However, what makes them potent is that the universe often intervenes and releases things from your life that you haven't had the courage to release yet. It's far better for you to get rid of something in your life than the universe to do it. When the universe comes in and do, does it, it's a huge shock um, to you. It's If you know that there's something to be not let go of, get on with it. <laughs> get on with it quickly before the universe thinks about doing it for you. It's a fast track. This is a fast track process that we are going to be going for to getting you to be where you need to be. Is something melts away if something disappears during the eclipse and we've got mercury retrograde as well for the next six or so weeks um the best advice is just to let it go don't hold on to it don't cry about it don't hold fear about it even if you feel like you're not ready to let go of it just yet send it forgiveness send it love whether it's a person or a circumstance um Trust in the universe. See what new doors are going to be opened for you because new doors will be opened for you. Um, this solar eclipse as well that will come about on the 21st of August um, is very potent and quite significant as well. And I'll probably go that into that in a different <coughs> video. So if anything is feeling shaky at the moment, that's going to be normal. That's the normal feeling. It's going to put us on edge a little bit as we go through this be as calm as you can do whatever you can to nurture yourself if there's a particular area of your life that's been quite volatile 
the lunar eclipse is likely to bring things up, bring it to a head so that you can clear it, so that you can make room for positive energy to come in. Aquarius energy is all about change and non-conformity. Aquarius is the, the pioneer and he's always coming up with new ways of doing things. Try and channel some of this lunar eclipse energy and try and think outside the box. This eclipse is going to help you pave your way. Don't look to others around you to help you for guidance. It's very, very much a time. We always look within, but especially now, it's a time to look within. You've got the answers within you and you are being guided as well. It's being You're being guided to trust yourself. Have faith in the universe. Follow your own inspiration. Follow your own dreams. Follow your own calling. Rather than getting bogged down in trying to live up to others' um, expectations of this, there's a calling to break down some of the boundaries or the barriers that you have given yourself so that you can achieve all you desire. The only limits you have are the ones that you put on yourself. This is a revolutionary energy to August and it seems that the lunar eclipse is definitely going to be triggering this in a major way. Step out of your comfort zone. That's the time that we've come to now to break away from the sheep, from the little sheeples, from the herd. The Aquarius lunar eclipse will be forcing you to pave your own way forward and to do with, away with things that are no longer in your highest good. This is your cosmic calling card to step outside of the box, wake up, break away from the normal and embrace you, who you are on an individual basis. It's time to rise up now to your, your mission, to your tr true soul calling. Okay, so I'm going to go through each and every sign with you. It's all time stamped below just to give you an idea of how this is going to affect you. Namaste. Hi Aries, I hope you're all really well. This is your prediction for the lunar eclipse. This eclipse has got a great power over you as the ruler of your zodiac is affected by this. It's a really wise choice to keep yourself calm, take things easy as much as you can. There are events of great importance happening in the lives of your friends and your family and they may affect you as well. And unfortunately it might be in a negative way. They can be unpleasant themselves but even if they are not, they are very stressful, not only for you, but for the ones experiencing the changes as well. It also may seem that your home requires attention, so there may be some things coming up within the home environment that will need fixing as well. Even more, you'll be forced to evolve and change the way you see yourself and your partner. You'll realise any dissatisfaction that you've got about how people see you and you'll feel the need to change this image. Try to avoid forceful or hasty reactions, but take notice of the insights and act wisely accordingly. Hi Leo, I hope you're all really well. This is your prediction. Your dreams will probably be the cause of distress for you during this time. You may suffer from nightmares. Um, that is very possible. Make sure that you are trying to sleep as well as you can do. There is going to be a lot of prophetic dreams as well that are also possible, but don't count on every nightmare as prophetic because it certainly isn't. Uh, legal issues can also surface or they can be brought to a solution. This is either going to be very beneficial for you or it's a very negative one. So take care as best you can about such issues. There are changes in studies, in teachings and personal philosophy. This is very possible too. This is a really more stressful um, than negative, though traveling in foreign countries is something you should completely avoid if this is possible. Don't go to any foreign countries and don't travel too far during this eclipse. Hi Sagittarius, I hope you're really well. This is your prediction for the lunar eclipse. This eclipse is not going to affect you mostly indirectly. It's going to be siblings and sibling figures, business partners, partners, lovers, close friends. They will be primarily affected, but through them, you will also be affected. Also, if you've got any children, try to be a little bit more pre protective of them during these days because they may feel it more than you do. Finances are mostly affected, so avoid signing any sort of contract or paperwork 
Try not to fall victim of any scam that could happen to you during this time. Definitely no gambling <laughs> during this time. Um, your, your contact with death and other elms, realms is really, really strong. Um, if you engage in activities within these realms, be very carefully about it as energies are strong, but they're not harmonious. Please do not go near any Ouija boards during this time. Don't go through them anyway, but during this time, just be careful with your communication with the afterlife. Communications and uh, equipment can be troublesome. So phones, computers, mobile phones, take proper care of them. Uh, take proper care of being on social media. Be careful of the posts that you put there as well. There could be comeback on them. Somebody may not agree with them. Be careful of minor problems with your vehicles. This is also possible, probably the electrics. Um, but this will mostly affect you financially more than health wise. Okay, so take care. Speak to you soon. Hi Taurus, I hope you're really well. This is your prediction for the lunar eclipse. Uh, try and avoid making any important decisions about your work and business during this period, if this is possible. If you've got your own company or you run your own business, uh, whether it's alone or with partners as well, acting is probably going to be forced to you. Um, this means that you're going to have to do things more on your own, especially if you usually rely on partners or other people within a business. Choose correction instead of abandonment and modesty instead of big investments. These are the best choices in most cases. Anyone who has a, a job where you have a boss or anything or you have parent figures, these people will probably stress you out too during the eclipse. Uh, be careful of that. But a change of boss, a divorce uh, may also happen between parents, um, with your boss, with a partner or threaten to happen as well if emotions get too high, so be aware. Take extra care of your mobile, your computer and all electrical devices. Back up any important files that you may have so they are not lost. Uh, your vehicles are also not immune to the eclipse. Make sure the battery is fully charged, make sure the electrics are okay, make sure that you are covered, um, maybe by a roadside um, pickup thing. Um, be careful, uh, drive extra carefully as well. Take care Taurus. Hi Virgo, I hope you're all really well. This is your uh, prediction for the lunar eclipse. Do what you can to relax during this eclipse. Um, if you keep stressing, things will get worse for you. It will just add to the problems or any problems that do come up during this time. You are needing to take extra good care of your health you can get problems at this time. Problems from the past in your health can reappear, like an old wound or an old um, rash or something that you used to have that can come up again. It can resurface. In most cases, it's just going to be passing. It's just passing through around the time of the eclipse, but it can give you a great deal of stress or disappointment at the same time. Be very careful, Virgo, of accidents because they can happen even serious ones at this time so take good care of your health some for some of you you may find that you have financial upheavals and even changes of job of job are likely to happen to you and your your lover and your partner or somebody around you other than trying to stay calm and manage your financials as best you can there's nothing more that you can do just relax there is a need to be calm during the eclipse for you Okay, take care. Hi Capricorn, I hope you're really well. This is how the lunar eclipse is going to affect you. Uh, this is going to affect your money, your finances, but there is a really good possibility that this can be in a beneficial way rather than a problematic one. There are going to be unexpected expenses, that is very possible. Mostly you need to take care of some of the problems that may arise in your home. They may get worse during the eclipse or rise up during the eclipse. Your lover, your partner, your spouse, your children are not in an emotionally stable condition at this time. Be very patient with them uh, and be patient with yourself as well. Be understanding towards them and loving towards them. There is a possibility of breakups during this eclipse, um, but not too much 
with with Capricorns but it, you need to be aware of it in most cases the tension will eventually settle down and it will if you stay together strengthen the relationship okay hi Gemini I hope you're all really well this is how the lunar eclipse could affect your sign there could be some sudden or unpredictable expenses uh, that may throw you off course financially. Your work can also be a cause of stress. Act wisely as you can in these areas. Also, you need to avoid any long trips and trips to other countries if you can avoid it. Or at the very least, these are going to be more problem problematic. There's going to be delays. Um, <laughs> They're not going to be as stress-free as you think they are if you need to travel. Friends and relatives living ab abroad may also cause you some distress in one way or another. Students, if you're a student, you may find that they want you want to change your educational path. You may suddenly find you're wanting to learn something differently. In some cases, this change may be forced upon you um, by the place where you learn. Uh, but for the most part, it would be you changing your mind. This is stressful, but there are supportive influences there too. So in most cases, it'll end up being a really good thing. You're being simply put on the right path. Siblings, people around you that are close to you uh, may experience some emotional dramas and you may be worried about them. The best thing to do is to kick back your heels and stay as stress-free as you can. Okay, bye-bye. Hi Libra, I hope you're all really well. Luckily with this eclipse, we've got it pretty easy compared to other signs. Um, it's mostly going to only affect the love life and not necessarily in a bad way too. If you're in a relationship or if you're married, all problems related to the relationship will be brought up into the light. Deal with them calmly, with patience, with an open mind and this will strengthen the relationship. On the other hand, if the relationship isn't good enough and it's not strong enough, there could be a breakup or a divorce. That could happen or it will be obvious that things have to change in the near future. Unpleasant as that may be, it's also a blessing and it's a good thing in the long term as it's brought up. The same influences for those who will receive it beneficially will bring a new relationship or the evolution of the current relationship. Therefore, an engagement, a wedding or a wedding proposal are all possible as hopefully it strengthens. Take care. Hi Aquarius, I hope you are really well. This is just a quick summary of how the lunar eclipse may affect you. This is going to raise your fears about health issues. In most cases, there's no strong basis for these fears, so please don't become overly worried. You may, though, be forced to change your, your diet habits for a short time or a longer period. Also, do drive more carefully or walk around more carefully. Car accidents can happen during this time. Appearances will become very important to you, so there are changes within possibly your appearance where you are changing your hair colour, changing your clothes, changing your style of dress. Um, and this is indicating that there is an inner change that needs to happen. If you are working at bettering yourselves, things will become easier during the eclipse. If you do not want to change or do not feel the need to change, the eclipse will force you to do so and it won't be such a nice experience. So please go with the flow and do what you feel. If there are teenagers about that are Aquarians, they may find the eclipse very much dramatic for them as unwanted changes in their life will be forced upon them. Hi Cancer, I hope you're all really well. This is how the lunar effects uh, will come across to you. Lunar eclipses usually have a great impact on your life, but this is a breeze compared to past ones. You are very lucky this time round. Uh, your lover, your husband, your wife, your spouse will probably feel the power of this eclipse much more than you will. Um, and they will be affected by financial kinds of changes that they will have to deal with. Studying yourself and making desirable changes uh, is an energy that is boosted by this eclipse. If you do it willingly, the eclipse will be so much more gentle on you. If not, it will force an experience on you in a much more unpleasant way. It's always better to make the changes yourself. 
Changes in your appearance may happen according to your taste and that is encouraged as well. Have a change of wardrobe, change your hair colour, have your hair in a different style. Um, it would be a really good thing to do during the eclipse, just don't overspend on it. Hi Scorpio, I hope you're really well. This is how the lunar eclipse may affect you. Try and avoid having a busy schedule on the day of the eclipse and the days just before it and just after it. You need to try and spend some more quiet time in your whole home and relax and rest. Even though there's no guarantee that this will actually happen, even if you try your best, uh, your house or your apartment may be cause of distress as well. Problems of any kind demanding repairs are possible to occur. Your parents or parental figures of your life will also stress you and worry you. They are short-tempered or ill-tempered. Be patient with them or try and stay out of their way for that time if it's possible. Students and younger people can be affected greatly by this eclipse and changes in their studyment, the way they study, or abandonment of them is possible. Even if you are not a student, your life philosophy and your relationship with the divine can change. Job and career will be affected as well um, and changes there may occur. Be careful as not to be forced to abandon a really good job for no real reason. Try and avoid travelling if possible, always during an eclipse and especially because we're also in Mercury retrograde coming up to that, uh, just at least try and avoid it on the day of the eclipse. Take good care of your health but don't panic if anything does occur or every little thing that does occur, occur don't over worry about it, okay? Hi Pisces, I hope you're all really well. Finally you, this is how the lunar eclipse may affect you. Uh, for those of you that are on the spiritual path that are awakening, this eclipse is really important for Pisceans. Major changes may happen. They are good, although they may not seem it immediately. Uh, any spiritual teachers or your spiritual teachers, for example, may change or they may stop teaching. Be very calm about it because something is better is coming to you. Growth in your path will happen peacefully or not. On the other hand, uh, finances may be affected in many different aspects. People around you will have their own financial problems and they may burden you. Unexpected expenses may come, salary cuts may also happen, people wanting to borrow from you. In most cases though, it's a low tide. Try and manage your money the best that you can. Brighter days are coming very soon, sometimes exactly because of low tides. Uh, take good care of your children these days. Their health may be a little bit more sensitive than usual and they may be more prone to coughs and colds at this time of the eclipse. Okay, take care. Namaste.